first request I've had for a flight to be tied for YouTube. So you can thank uh, Yusef Dar for asking uh, how to tie a hopper. Or on Yusef's request, it was a pollen hopper. Now, I tend to fish my pollen hoppers on a, a medium wire gauge hook. And this particular one's the Hanak 230BL on a size 12. I'll just get that straight in the right. There we go. The thread for this one, the fiery brown version, is burnt orange UTC. Catch your thread on, take away your waist. Now for the rib, I'm using Uni Mylar in size 16. Great pearl rib. So I've already got a section cut off. So Catch that in on my side. Let's take it down to about there. Now for the body I'm using is this is Argentinian hair. This is dyed fiery brown or fiery orange, I think it's correctly labelled as. This is the short version, you can get a long. Well, I'm, I haven't used that one so I can't comment on how good it is, but I do like the short version. Dubs really well makes great dry flies and subservice patterns so i've just got a small pinch we'll slide that up just a couple of turns and get the pearl out of the way there we go and just keep turning keep spinning the the hair on the thread just to create a taper i'll just create a, another small pinch Continue building the tape of the body up. And go up and down over the top of the dubbing. Probably do with a touch more. Create that nice tapered profile of the body. Now take your mylar. The opposite way, the, the way you've wound the fur. Nice even turns. Cross your thread over it a couple of times. Tap that bit in. Come in with your velcro on a stick and just tease some of the fibres out. Just move your thread out the way. And for the thorax, same again. The hair's fur. Just a small pinch. So we're going to tie the legs in. So we'll take that away. I know this is a pheasant tail. I suppose it's very like a fiery brown fiery orange these were very kindly knotted by richie anthony right near the end of the fiber which is great so we've got four legs just catch them on inside the shank that's four on my side take four more if i can get them Line them up the best you can. No, no problem. Trim them away. Tidy all that up. There we go. Come back in with your hair fur again. Just thin that out a bit. There we go. That. Now for the hackle, this is just a very cheap hen neck, quite well marked through the middle, again highly used. So for me pollen hoppers, 
I like to use the hen because it gets a bit more ability on in on the surface. So strip away some of the fibres from the hackle. Two turns. Keep everything tight. Hold your stem away. Now pull the hackle through your fingers and you'll notice all the fibres go to one side. So here's one turn. Two turns. Three. I like to use a slightly longer hackle for pollen hoppers rather than the, the dry fly hackle which is nice and short and helps it float. The purpose that I use hen for is gives a nice teardrop profile when it's wet. So snuck away the tip of the fibre there, or the feather even. Just get the dubbing needle. Just apply some varnish straight to the thread. Just come in with the finish. A couple of turns to finish. Trim away your waist. If you find, as you can see, it's quite a vertical hackle there. Just stroke it all the back. Take it all and just give it a Crease forward, take a couple of goes just to get it to sit right. There you go, my version of the pollen hopper, uh, five year brown in this one. Nice little quick video, thank you to Youssef for the request. If anyone else has any requests for any particular flies you'd like to see, uh, or a technique that I can show you, please let me know. Just drop a comment below or drop me a, a message. There's a little icon in the corner for those who haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching. See you later.